Kolo, Yehau Bashim Yahushai, Shalom to Azad David, the 144,000, the elect and the one third. Men, women, and children are part of the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. Who well, today are you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans? Whether you want to believe it or not, you're the true Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. Basically, um, go right to it. Basically, um, we we had a Brazilian soccer team plane crash in Colombia, and it's heavy because this is after they celebrated. This says seventy five, but in this, I believe it's, it was around seventy seven. I guess they tried to throw off because you know the numerologies, you know Esau, he tried to throw shit off. But basically, uh, that's the time we're living in, man. Now that they were celebrating partying, they didn't know that they was actually gonna crash, in a plane crash and and go back to the spirit world. That's going to show you, man. You how about Shem Yahushai controls all things, man. I'm going to bring up the scriptures, man. For Samuels. So you got a lot of people that are proud out here, too. You know, they're proud. You know, they don't put Yahweh about Shem Yahushai in their life. And they think that they can't be touched. But here it is. The Brazilian Taka team, they didn't know 75 of them, they say. This is like 77. They didn't know that they was going to get put to death. You know, seven means completion. The vibration of seven. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. So the Lord put them to death. The Lord put them to death. That was the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Now this was after they were celebrating. You know. They didn't know that they was going to get put to death, man. See, how about Shem Yahushua? The scriptures say, pride, if, pride go before destruction, man. And the majority of our people, you're proud, man, in America. Especially you women. You know, but that's going to turn to sorrow real soon. Play the scripture. You know, we're going to play this clip, and then we're going to read the scripture. A chartered airplane carrying a Brazilian professional soccer team has crashed in Colombia. Officials say the plane was on its way to the airport in Medellin. It's believed it went down in a mountainous area outside the city just before midnight Monday night. 81 people were reported to be on board the British Aerospace 146 short haul plane, including members of the 1st Division Chapacoense team from southern Brazil. There are reports of survivors. The other paramedics will be arriving here with a flight attendant. She's stable. Access to the site is very challenging because if it's not four-wheel drive vehicles, you can't get in. So it's hard to get there, but there's lots of injured people. The team was set to play in the South American Cup Finals, with the first of two games set for Wednesday. Aviation authorities say before the aircraft went down, its pilots declared an emergency due to an electrical failure. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. Yeah, that's spiritual, man, because uh, the games are coming to an end, you know? And it's heavy because it said 75 dead, which I believe it was probably 77. Vibration say, but we're reading Ecclesiastes 7 chapter. You know, 7 means completion because um, yeah, how about Jim Yahushua going to complete this for America and deliver the elect? Ecclesiastes 7. A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death and the day of one's birth. Which 75 people got put to death. It is better to go to the house of mourning, which that's us, but when we part of the elect, the house of mourning, than to go to the house of feasting. You know, and you have people feasting on Thanksgiving, a wicked ass feast. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Here it is the Brazilian soccer players. From the tribe of Asher, the Israelites, they was partying, they was laughing. They didn't know that they was going to crash and die. You know? They didn't know they was going to die that same night. They was partying. That same day, they was going to get put to death. The heart of the wise in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of the thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This is also vanity. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and they give the short of the heart. See? 
a lot of our people, they don't want to hear that, man. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning of thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Because all this partying of this partying spirit, it'll be done away with real soon. The Lord's going to crush that shit. Here it is, you party in the club and the lights are out, it's dark. The lights are going, you know, they got the club lights. Yeah, I'll buy some young guys coming and bring the lights out. Turn the lights on and stop the goddamn party, man. The party plane's going to crash. Be not hasty. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. For anger is restive in the bosom of fools. So basically, uh, here it is, the, the 75 soccer players that got put to death. They didn't know that they was going to, that same night, that same day, that plane was going to crash in Colombia. Here it is, they was in the house of, of, of partying. They was in the house of partying, living it up. They didn't know that same that same day, they was going to get put to death, man. Like the scripture saying, Ecclesiastes 7, there was 75 of them that got put to death. Sorrow was better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So us in this truth, we're going through this hell. It's making us better. We're going through this spiritual fire. Because we don't want to go through that physical fire. We're just going to be that nuclear holocaust fire that's coming to America. That's going to catch the heathens and the two-thirds. Basically, we're at the end of this thing. I just want to bring this out. You know? The house of uh, Murph. You're going, to, you're going to be brought low, man. And the ones at the house of mourning, the Ezekiel 9 and 4, the men that sign, they cry, they're going to be raised up. Call all you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai Shalom to the house of David, the 144,000, the church of the saints, and the one third men, women, and children, part of the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. All you blacks, Latinos, and Americans today, only the, only the only ones that's going to make it is the elect. The ones that sign, that's crying, that's mourning. You know, the two thirds in the house of Murph, man. You're partying, you're living it up. You know, you're living it up, man. So you guess what? You're going to go down with this bitch, man. And the ones that sign and crying, they're going to get raised up. The men and the women and the children that are part of the church. Shalom.